Hey guys, Earthrack here, and today I'm going to be walking you through a tutorial on how to add power lights into your map. And power lights are what happens when you uh, flick the switch. Look at the flick of the switch. Uh. But anyways, um, when you turn on the power switch and all the lights turn on, and that includes perk machines. So, here's how you do it. Now, uh, the ones that are given to you, as in the perks that are given to you inside of the uh, starting map for some reason don't work so don't worry all you have to do is just go into your prefab browser prefab browser and then you can just type in your perks so like for instance revive uh, you have vending underscore revive underscore struct and I'm gonna do perks first so anyways uh, what you're gonna be doing let me go into F7 uh, you're gonna break apart the prefab you're gonna click all its individual lights okay bibbidi bobbidi boo yeah and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the uh, entity info and you're gonna go down to where it's the lighting states you need to put lighting state 1 true and then all the others false but there should be nothing in general and what that will do is that will activate the lights right now I'm in lighting state 2 and here's lighting state one. See how they are now uh, working. You probably won't be able to see it right here, but they are working in game. So do not worry about that, my good old shabbity baps. So, how do we actually make a lighting state? Well, that's actually very easy. What you need to do is you need to go all the way up to your sunbox, which you can tell when everything gets kind of hard to see, or you can click this jibbity bobbity boo. Is this my sunbox? No, that is not my sunbox. There we go. There we go. We have our sunbox. So let's go into our entity info. Uh, you'll see SSI1 and SSI2. Uh, you can change whatever uh, you want for SSI2 and SSI1 uh, for the actual skybox, but I recommend just keeping it the freaking same. Now, uh, that's how you actually create another light stage, just giving it another skybox, and then you'll be able to sift through uh, your uh, lighting states within the radiant stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just kind of zoned out right now, but either way, you will need to build your lighting uh, no matter what. So, there is one more step, that's just the easy parts. Uh, just make sure you save. And what you're going to do is you are going to locate your .csc, similar to how we added in Widow's Wine. So you go to your Black Ops 3 uh, directory, you go to User Maps, Your Map, Scripts, ZM, and then your .gsc of your map. You're going to open it with Notepad or whatever you want. These codes are going to be down in the description, and there is a uh, tutorial on UGX, well not a, a full tutorial, but uh, just the coding was on a UGX form, and that was a main help to actually get this working because I did not know the scripting part. But either way, here's what you need to add you need to add thread in it, power right underneath ZM user map main. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down to here. So let me just copy this and delete it for a second. Uh, you are going to go all the way down to here. You're going to push enter. You're going to paste that code in. Uh, I'm going to put another enter in it just to make things a little bit more organized. Okay. And right here where it says set underscore lighting underscore state, uh, leave it at three. If you want to mess around with it, you can. But what that is, is it's kind of broken inside of the mod tools right now, but this is actually lighting state two. And when you turn the power on, it's going to go to lighting state one. So that is how you get it uh, working, guys. All you need to do is do all the three compilings and all that poop. And I am going to show you that it is working by loading up my map and showing you how all the lights are off. And the thing is, this can work with models that emit light. Uh, I've done that with the models. All you need to do is uh, mark their lighting states because they will have lighting state options. So you can do a lot with this, honestly. So let's load this up. Let's get on in here with our schnibbity bobbity boos. Also, I think I'm the only tutorial out there uh, that actually covers this in depth on how to set it up. Uh, I know people tell you how to fix the perk lights as in like setting it up in Radiant, but they don't actually tell you how to activate it with power. So 
this is going to be very useful for you guys. Okay. That was weird. And I know my mic might be quiet, but it's okay. So you can see that I also have a power door blocking some of my models. Uh, so you can't see the light and stuff. But either way, it's not emitting light. Exit signs aren't emitting light. I put some more uh, doors around it to make it look darker. The lights aren't on. Lights aren't on. All the perks aren't on. Quick revive is not on. And so on. It's just nice and sexy. But then when we turn the power on. Cutching! Bam! The lights turn on. Hallelujah! And we've got the lights in here. And it's just like, whoa, bro. So let's go ahead and kill these mofos. And we'll show off the other bathroom as well. And there we go. And Perk Revive's lights are active, which is nice. I'll still have to mess around with its lights and position them to how I like. But everything is working, guys. So if this tutorial helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and uh, further updates with Decay. This is not... Uh, the update I've actually deleted the further update and saved it as a prefab so you can't see uh, what I want you guys to see but trust me I have a lot done uh, I'll show you guys later tonight I have a crap ton of I just need to fix this bear that's it so I will see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed have a nice day